conservative women in this comment section had to announce to everybody how much they hate Tate. And this just further proves what me and my husband has been saying about conservatism and Christianity and how feminism has infiltrated. Because when you ask them why, the answers are the media lies. But hey, don't believe the media lies when it comes to Trump. Then they call him a misogynist because he calls a hoe a hoe. But hey, grab him by the pee. At the end of the day, the reason why you're willing to believe the lies about Tate is because you don't like that he challenges men not to take crap from women. And I'm not sure why we're comparing the two because we shouldn't be afraid to call out any sin, but Trump, who I have a lot of qualms with, he was a business mogul reality TV star turned president. As far as I know, he never made a name or a dime purporting to teach men how to be men or how to interact with or manipulate women. I'd love to vote for a strong, openly Christian man whose character I have no qualms with to lead this nation, but sometimes you vote the best you can. However, Tate has made a name for himself as a type of lifestyle guru for men and masculinity. And unlike with the president, you don't have to choose Tate. You don't have to choose the lesser of two evils. You could just shut the evil off. As a Christian conservative, I would recommend that you do, at least until he denounces his previous words and actions. He has said many times over that he made women fall in love with him so that they would do webcam work for him. Not conservative, not Christian, and in my view, not masculine. It's an example of how feminized the church has gotten that you're afraid to call out Tate because you're afraid there won't be an example of masculinity to stand in his wake. That would be Jesus Christ and all of the good men of the church.